welcome everyone. Vince the Hatman back at Knott's Berry Farm with Bubba. We haven't seen Bubba in a while. Thought I'd stop by. No Miss Hatman Jewels today. She's working. But hey, we're here on a weekday to kind of show you what you can do at Knott's on a weekday during Mary Farm. So follow along today and check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Vince the Hatman. And if you need custom hats, I own a hat company and we do custom patches like the one on my head. We can help you out too. But let's check out Mary's farm on a weekday, see what's going on, and uh, see what you can do at the farm, not on a Friday, Saturday when it's as crowded. There's still a lot to do and a lot to see, not as much entertainment, but we'll show you it all today. Okay, and our Knott's Facebook page is Knott's Then and Now, so check that out too. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you at Mary's farm. All right, here we go. Okay guys, so we're over here by Ghost Rider and I was surprised Gingerbread Lane is not open on the weekdays, but at this point it's not. And Gingerbread Lane has games and different craft booths and some great uh, photo spots to check out and some foods. But during the week it is closed. So it's right by Ghost Rider and the exit of Ghost Rider and the gates are closed right now. But uh, during the week, the week ends, this is open and there's lots to see in here. If we can't see anything right now, it's gonna kind of show you through the hole in the fence here so you can check it out of what you can see but gingerbread lane is not open right now so you can't come do that and that's kind of disappointing during the week but definitely on Friday Saturday Sunday gingerbread lane is open and we definitely recommend you come check that out okay guys keep following along. so while you're in this corner here uh, come by the ghost town bakery and get some treats here they have some special Christmas stuff this year that's pretty good, so I'll go inside and check all that out. But the bakery is open on the weekdays, which is nice, and uh, you can check it out. There's also the uh, Marketplace Bakery, sometimes it has different stuff, but the bakery is open and looking good, so come get your treats. And it's Wednesday the 6th, I think I said the 5th, but it's the 6th today. So it's much quieter here than on the weekends for Mary Farm, but a lot less happening, so keep following along. So one good thing on a weekday is the crafts festival is here, the Christmas crafts festival in Ghost Town, and you can walk along and check out some of the shops here, the little booths they call them, and they're all throughout Ghost Town, and this goes on seven days a week, so it's not just on the weekends, which is really cool. So you can come check all the Christmas crafts booths out and see what you think. So that's one good thing that is definitely open during the week, and uh, there's some great vendors here up and down Ghost Town, and we'll show you some more as we go. All right. So when you come to Mary Farm on a weekday or a weekend, make sure you go by the first booth where the assay office normally is, and you'll see all this handmade stuff by our friends Chris and Cami, and it's just amazing what they do. I mean, they have so much fun stuff. Look at these amazing snowmen, too. Just so cool. Love it. So make sure you come check all this fun stuff they have. They have gnomes that glow. They have so much stuff in this booth. Let's look at all this handmade beautiful stuff. It's not, you know, mass made, made in small quantities obviously, with lots of love. We have a couple of these gnomes down here that flash. So definitely come by and check all this out. And the Christmas Crafts Festival is kind of the star of the weekday right now until they open up every day. Um, late and they'll open up more and have shows and stuff but at this point if you come this week I think next week things do change some but uh, just just wanted to let everyone know about this stuff so come check it out so something else that is not open on the weekdays so far is the birdcage theater plays and they have 
the Christmas Carol and the Gift of Magi, which are both fantastic. And it looks like those are only going to be on weekends too, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And a lot of times here you'll find the carolers around here too, which sadly during the week they do not do either. So uh, pretty much you could come, see the decorations, do the shopping. Um, we have the snow coming, the Christmas tree lighting. But as far as shows go, there's really nothing happening during the week. So just keep that in mind. If you come, there's really nothing happening during the week. So the shows at the Birdcage are only on the weekends, Friday through Sunday. Okay, and always check the Knots app for the latest news on that. But if you come during the week, uh, you're not going to see any of the entertainment. Okay. All right, guys, we're over here at Wilderness Dance Hall at Santa's Christmas Cabin this time of year. Thought I'd just show you some of the decorations here. In case you can't get down here. I always like these reindeers. They're pretty neat. So... Anyway, come check it out when you're at Santa's cabin. And check out some of these fun, beautiful decorations. All right, guys, keep following along today. A weekday at Merry Farm. Okay, guys, so Santa's Christmas cabin is open here, which is great. So when you're walking through Ghost Town, make sure you come to Santa's Christmas cabin. We're going to walk inside with the sunlight here and see what's going on at Santa's Christmas cabin. Look at this fun stuff over here. Delectable treats, this fun reindeer. So make sure you come into the cabin here and it smells so good when you walk in here. And look, they're making freshly baked cookies here, guys. Freshly, freshly baked cookies, yum. That's look good, you can see them baking them back there. Let's check it out, freshly baked. So those are really cool. And when you come in the cabin, it's just really cool. You walk in, you have the great photo spot here with the big tree and the letters for Santa and the toy soldiers. What else we have here? Some stockings made of wood, bells up there. And here you can come get all your teas and coffees, cookies and milk. Let's just kind of walk through and see what's going on. Of course, the biggest uh, attraction here is Santa Claus. But here's some of the other goodies here you can get. So we have cupcakes, we have, what are these? I don't know what that says. Something Berry Crisp. Lots of cool stuff here. And then over here we have Santa and his little village here. So make sure you come check out Santa. Santa's looking very merry there. He's checking it all out. There's Santa. Here comes people getting their picture taken with Santa. So make sure you come and see the stockings and you see Santa. And as we keep going around here, said like there's more food over here. Every year they do this really nice, this cabin. It's one of my favorite parts of uh, Knott's Merry Farm. They have these fun windows here with deers in the windows. If you can see that, they're kind of blurry, but you might be able to see that. And then back over to Santa. Different angles here. So come to Santa's cabin, and this is open during the week. And you can buy your photos here that you take with Santa, which is pretty cool. And then we have nuts here. Hello, how are you? Oh, yum. And then we have almonds, cashews, and pecans. Which is, what's your favorite? My personal favorite is going to be the pecans. The pecans. So are you roasting them fresh right there? Yes, we're making them right wow, now. Wow, that's really neat. Look at that. That's super cool. Okay, so come down to Santa's cabin and see, how do you say your name? AJ. AJ, and he'll get you some great nuts. And what else do we have over here? Apples? Uh, yes, yeah, so we have some uh, specialty apples over here, some uh, fudge dipped Oreos, and some uh, seasonal flavored fudge as well. Awesome. So one good thing, this is open during the week. Not everything is, but the cabin is. And AJ will hook you up with some great nuts and foods. Thanks, AJ. Bye, take okay. care. Okay guys, so our next booth over here has lots of good looking food here. Apple cider, peanut butter winter hot cocktails. Let's see, cinnamon sugar Indian, Indian fry bread. A pecan cookies, so yeah, lots of food to eat here. Let me get out of the shot here so you can see it. There you go. Looks like they make everything in the back here. Really good, and they have whipped cream, marshmallows, and sprinkles and things like that. So definitely come to Santa's cabin and check it all out. Okay, okay guys, so the livery stable is open during the week, so coming in, some total welcoming big wreaths here, which are awesome. And then you can see some of the horses and the different animals in here. So, 
I think this might, I'm not sure which horse this is today, but um, he'll kind of go back and forth and say hi to people. But if you come into the, uh, into the livery stable, you can see all kinds of fun stuff in here. So let's see what else is here. We have some uh, great old carriages they put in here right now. Some old cars. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Brutus is here. He's usually here. Let's see if Brutus is here today. And Brutus is not here. He is the donkey of Knott's Berry Farm, one of them. But he's not here. But there's his, <laughs> there's his stocking. So make sure you come in and see Brutus if you're here. And in this stable, there is nobody. So we just have the one horse here today. And there he is. Yeah, he's beautiful. And he lets the kids pet him and awesome. So come at the livery stable, get a little Knott's history in here. It's what Knott's used to be about. And hopefully you'll get to see Brutus because I love Brutus. He is very, very cool. I love this stocking too. Okay, guys, keep following along. Another weekday treat that you can do. Not, not food, but just a, something you can do. So check it out. I guess he, the bubbles don't make a difference. <laughs> yeah, he's impressed. He's impressed by the bubble wand. What do you think there? Oh, okay. That's enough bubbles, huh? All right, you ready for the stuff? All right, guys, when you come to Mary Farm, get the interactive bubble wand. They're $29.99, and they interact with different spots in the park, and you can spew bubbles all over the place. So make sure you come and check out the bubble wand. They're really fun. They, they glow at night, Doug? Yeah, they glow. They at glow night. at night, and you can, how many places in the park are there? Like all the different little snowman places? Is that it? I don't know how many snowmen are around the park. Do you know? Is there a number? Uh, there are five snowmen, and apparently there are five other places where it will glow. So ten places, it, five it'll make bubbles come out of these snowmen, and five other glow places. So come get your bubble wands right here, across from the uh, where are we? The glass blower across from the glass blower here and uh, check it out all right Doug let's keep going another great thing to do on a weekday is to come see Carving. the wood chain carver so he does everything from wood chain he looks like he's making something really cool in there now dinosaur of some kind yeah super cool and come and look at all the stuff that he does here it's really neat it's interactive so you can watch him do the chainsaw when he's when he's working look at these great bears we own a couple of these bears at home I love this one with the two bears in the log that's really cool Owls, fun stuff. Look at that seahorse too. Spider, Bigfoot's here. And check out this alien bench he made, super rad. Super cool. I sound old when I say rad, I guess, but anyway. Come by the wood carver. This is something you can do in the weekday. He's here. And the weekend, this place, you can't even like stand here, especially when he's, when he's working. But yeah, so there's the dinosaur he's working on, so. Super, super cool. Looks like he's cleaning up a little now. But uh, come and check it out. And there's the chainsaw he does it all with. Really cool. So keep following along. Love this at Knott's, at the Christmas Crafts, at the Chainsaw Carver. It's got this dinosaur going on, and it is looking great, man. Super, super cool. Let's get a close-up on this, Doug. What's happening? Looking great. All right, come check it out. This is here seven days, so you can see this on the weekdays. All right, guys. So also you make sure that you come down and see the glass blower here at Mary Farm. So they have actually a studio here. You can see the, they call that a kiln, I think. Is that what it's called? Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but he makes a hand-blown glass here. And the shop is right next door where you can buy things. But pretty cool. You can come and watch this. The wood, wood chain, the chainsaw, wood carver. And the glass blower here in Ghost Town, and looks like this is open too, which is great. It's not just on the weekends, so you can see this on the weekdays. And then if we just walk over here a little bit, you can see the shop here with all the hand-blown glass. Let's kind of see what we got here. Oh, here's some great Christmas stuff. Look at the Grinch there. I love that. It's the Grinch, some snowmen and Christmas trees. And we have the big ornaments on the tree there. Down here we have like hearts, starfish, actual fish. Hey Nemo. There's a turtle. Yeah, all this looks like it's done right here, which is really cool. 
And I like the sign, you break it, you buy it. <laughs> so come down to the glass blower and wait till it looks like you know they have shows all day on and off and check it out. Okay guys, so Wednesday at Mary Farm, Wednesday afternoon, the Ghost Town Grill is closed. So hopefully this is gonna open on the weekends, I assume it is. I've seen it open on the weekends, so definitely come sit outside here. It's my favorite place to sit, and Julie's too. And come on over, here's a look at the menu, in case you haven't seen it lately. There's been some updates, I think. Salads, sandwiches, burgers, and more. And one thing we like to come for is dessert. They also have cocktails too. So come in to the Ghost Town Grill. You can sit inside. You can try to see in there a little bit. Or you can sit outside. But today, the Ghost Town Grill is closed. All right, and don't forget to try, you know, something really good here is the country fried steak. Really good. And people also like the apple sliced pork chops right there too. But if you just wanna come get dessert, come have a, you know, sarsaparilla float for 10 bucks. It's a great deal. Okay guys, come to the Ghost Town Grill. Let me swing around here. I gotta not move too fast so I make people dizzy, I know. Love the West Coast machinery over there. Always one of my favorite spots. The blacksmith here on Main Street. And there it is. The Ghost Town Grill, all decorated for Christmas with the beautiful poinsettias and sit out here on the patio. All right, thanks for following me. Okay, hey Doug, so one thing you can do on the weekdays here is see the tree lighting ceremony. What do you think of that? That's it. And so, I heard it's going to snow. Yep, we're going to see that afterwards. So those are two things you can do on the weekdays here at Knott's. You can see the tree lighting and the snow. So we're going to see the tree lighting in just a minute. So stay tuned. guys to so come down any day of the week and see the Christmas lighting ceremony here really pretty all right guys come check it out seven days a week they do this not just on the weekends like everything else so nice way to uh, finish up our day and now we're gonna go watch some snow ready Doug ready. let's go All right, guys, so if you come on the weekday on a Wednesday, like Doug and I are here, they do have snow. One snow, though, Doug. 
just one time at 5.30. 5.30. So make sure you come either to Main Street, or what do we call that area? What's the other street? I don't even know School if that has House a name. Road. Schoolhouse Road, I guess. And you can see the one. Doug and I like this one. Julie likes this better, too. We like the West Coast Machinery Company over there. We like the grill. And what else do we like? Not you. We like the livery and the windmill. But we noticed something this year, Doug. What's going on? We have no lights on the blades. No lights on the, the blades this year, which is something that they used to do. So I don't know what's up with that, but um, yeah. So we're going to see some snow in a minute, Doug. So make sure if you come on a weekday, you get here at 530 because there's only one show and that's it. All right, we'll, we'll get ready. Follow along, guys. Okay, Doug, snow is going to happen. What do you think, man? When we think of Christmas past, we right. usually find the simplest things kick off the Although greatest with the amount of bubbles here, we already have some stuff. Such as waking on a winter morn, pulling up the shade, and finding what lay there the evening before is now covered in shimmery white. It is a Christmas snow, that special snow that awakens the child in all of us. It makes our hearts beat faster and catches us by surprise. It awakens memories of things more wonderful the snow guys. Come check out the snow, even on the weekdays. They do it one time a night, 5.30. Come check it out. Okay, I'm here with my friend Doug. Hey, Doug. Hello. So we did a couple uh, holiday specials here today at Coaster's Diner, and we have this mushroom truffle burger. So, oh, look at the wow! There's big pieces of, of garlic in that. Wow. Huh. So you got two patties, mushrooms, and whole garlic, Doug. Wow. I'm curious to see what you think of this. Let's see. 
All right, here he goes. It's a nice big bite. I like that. Mm. So what's the word? It's not bad. I no. Say well, you got to take two bites. Two bites. Did you get any of the whole garlic? Like those are whole cloves of garlic. I don't know. Let's take a look. Let me look at that again. You oh no, that? I didn't even bite in far enough. Wait, wait, turn it the other way. Okay. So you guys can see that there's whole cloves of garlic in this thing. Wow. That's pretty impressive, Doug. All right. One more bite, Doug. You got to get the garlic in it and tell us what's going on. How about if we uh, fast forward the bite? He's going to we'll take a, a bite of the garlic? Right there. Hey, hold on. Let me see. Look at that. Whole pieces. That's like a whole clove of garlic. Interesting. All right, so give us the give us the scoop here. Take a little swig. This is on the meal plan, which is a plus. It's always a plus when they're on the meal plan, Doug. Going in. Yeah. Doug takes good bites. I like that. So you got two pieces, two two patties, two pieces of cheese, truffles. Truffle, I guess. Whole garlic and mm -hmm. mushrooms. That's pretty good for Knott's Berry Farm. It's pleasant. So open that up one more time. Let's show the people what they want to see, Doug. Well, okay. did I miss the garlic? I don't think I did. No, it's right. That's, There's that's the garlic, piece of garlic. garlic. Yep. Some mushrooms. And what's under the bottom? You, and if you let's absolutely see. Nothing. nothing. Okay. And as you see, in coasters, you can. If you don't know, you can get half and half fries and rings. So we do that all the time here. So. Fries and rings. All right, Doug. So, what are you gonna give the? Uh, oh, look at that. What's that? Oh, fries and rings. Yes, we can do fries and rings. No, together. no, no. We got a little Anaheim situation. Oh no, we don't. On. We don't talk about that on this no, channel. No, we will hide it. <laughs> Saw that hiding. That was a hidden Snoopy. <laughs> all right, Doug. How many trucker hats on the trucker hat scale? You gonna shock the world on this one and give it like a three? Only three? Really? Three for me. Not four? What's going on? Tell us about it though. Why three? It looks good. I'm just saying. What? What's? Is it too greasy or is it the garlic too much or? It's a little cheesy, but unfortunately I ate before coming here, so oh. I'm probably not giving an honest reading. Okay. It, I mean, it looks good. I mean, it's got good stuff in it. And, one thing I do like is they make it fresh. True. Which is cool. So what do you think? Three? You can go with three? Not three and a half? I'll do three and a half. Okay. Just because it's the holiday season. All right. Well, I didn't Merry try Christmas. it. Christmas. But the looks of it, I mean, it looks fancy. I'm just saying, you know, it looks fancy. So I, I see I was surprised by the two pieces of cheese, too. I know. So usually you get one, don't you? Yeah. So I don't know, you Doug. Go. You might have to up your grade to a four on this one. I don't know. Well, you know, I'm off my game because okay. I ate. <laughs> he just came from uh, Arby's, so it's probably, I probably shouldn't have made him eat this hamburger, but... Uh, I probably won't eat the whole thing. So, okay, you know, all right. Just all right, Doug. Videos so Doug says three and a half? Three and a half. I say four from the looks of it, but looks don't count, I guess. But well, Let's just move that out of the Okay, way. so we'll go to the next one now. All right, Doug, we're going to take a break, though, before you do that one. You're right. So, all right, so Doug says three and a half. If you want it, it's on the meal plan. It's at Coasters. We're here midweek at Mary Farm checking it all out. So make sure you come to Mary Farm and you tell us if it was more than three and, Doug, three and, three and a half. Three. I know. All right, Doug, thanks Don't a lot. Don't before coming. Where, we, where will we see you, Doug? Where will we see people? At the farm. At the farm. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Where will we see people? At the farm. Or at Mary Farm. <laughs> And Mary Farm. All right. Soon Thanks, to be Doug. Very fun. Julie's not here today. Miss Hatman Jules is working, so right. Doug volunteered to come do some reviews with me. Hey, look at the nice flowers. Yeah, spot we right found here. a nice flower spot here. I, we thought we'd look better with the flowers, but I don't think so. <laughs> All right, Doug. Thanks. Thank you. See ya. Alright guys, we're back at Mary Farm with the most wonderful time of the year. And no Miss Hatman Jules today. We got Hatman Doug here instead. What's going on? 
But we're going to do our best reviewing this food right now. Okay, so we just had the garlic mayo truffle mushroom burger at Coasters. Something like that, yes. It was, uh, it was a lot of going on in that. And we also got this holiday arugula chicken pecan cranberry apple salad. Um, this is on the mail, mail plan. So um, it comes with this uh, fancy dressing. What do you got there, Doug? This is the balsamic. This is the balsamic, and Doug's gonna sprinkle that on there. Yeah. And we're gonna see. Uh, Doug needs something to clean his palate after eating that hamburger over oh, there. Yeah. The garlic truffle mayo mushroom garlic burger. <laughs> That's a lot to say. I mean, this salad looks good. She made it fresh. Um, there's a ton of arugula in it, so I guess if you <laughs> if you don't like arugula, you probably won't like it. But there's chicken, cranberries. pecans, cranberries. It's very holiday-ish, Doug. What do you think? Let's give it a try. All here. right, give it a try. See if you can get a little bit of everything in there, Dougie. Can you get it all? Well, we'll do a nut on top in between. All right, we got the cranberries apples. on that too, apples. So we got a red and a green Christmas color. There's a lot, of, there's a lot going on on this, Doug. Yeah, we're going to wrap this guy around. Yep. And stuff him. Here we go. You take bigger bites than this Hat Man Jules does, just so you know. <laughs> all right, Doug. This is the holiday arugula chicken apple, pecan, cranberry, arugula, salad, arugula. arugula, arugula balsamic salad here. And this is on the meal plan too. So we did two meal plan things for you guys today to help you to see if this is something you would like, you know? And I know a lot of people, I try to eat more salads. Doug, do you try to eat more salad these days or no? Not, Not really. <laughs> I'm enjoying my holiday season. Are you? Okay, well, yeah. So uh, and, uh, how is it? Arugula. It looks very arugula-y. I mean, literally, it's on a bed of arugula, you guys. So, I mean, yeah, if you don't like arugula, this is not a good salad for you. But um, how is it? He's speechless. I don't know. Arugula. A lot of arugula. It's all right, but uh, you wouldn't see me <laughs> eating it in the Knott's Berry Farm. This okay. Is an oddity. All right, well... You had to take one for the team today because Julie's yes. not here, so, you know. I'm going to go two hats two, on this. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> come on, man. you got to be better than two. Look at that beautiful chicken and the cranberry and the arugula. This is healthy, man. This is not healthy stuff. How's the chicken? Chicken is surprisingly good. Ch not dry? No. Oh, well, there you go. All right, so let's dissect it a little bit, Doug, here, real quick. So you tried the chicken, tried the nuts. Are they good? Pecans? I saw her hand make this, oh, by the way. They're, they make it. This salad is not in a, in a, you know, she made it fresh back there. It took a few minutes. Would it be better with ranch dressing, maybe, or something? I don't know. No? I don't do. <laughs> you don't do ranch? What do you do? What's your dressing of choice? I would do the balsamic. So you're doing what you would do. So do what you do. I did what I do. <laughs> now you guys, it's up to you. We are having fun here I'm today with Doug. I'm going to save you an apple. I'm going to save you a green apple, Mr. red Mr. apple for the holiday colors. Mr. Hatman Doug doesn't eat a lot of salad, so this was a very... He did this for me, basically, for the channel. So. And for you all. They, for, yeah, for everybody on the channel. So I don't know. I think this looks really good. It looks very healthy. Uh, the chicken looks good. The pecans, the cranberry. I mean, you got to like arugula because it's, it's basically a... And you know what's funny, Doug, is arugula is not cheap. Seriously. It's, they could have used iceberg lettuce in this or, you know, so they must, they do a lot of things with arugula here, which I find really interesting. All right, so you're going two, really? Well, Don't think of it as, you know, you got to think of it as like, it, I mean, if you like arugula and you like, chicken's good, you said, right? Oh, yeah, the chicken was Nuts voice. and cranberry, okay. And, you know, it's packaged dressing from Kraft, so you can't I, really. I wish there was more apple slices. Yeah, there's not I a lot of apple. Oh, did you try the apples? Yeah, with the with the bite, I figured you would. Oh, you had it all in one. Okay, and that sure. was okay. All right, so you're gonna go two. two you really gonna go two? Two trucker hats, then? Come I'm on. Go three. Three. Okay. So I won't get coal in my stock. I think three. Yet. I think three. But I think that if you want a healthy alternative, 
I mean, you're at coasters of all places. You know, you're at a burger, French fry, onion ring place. Right, right, right. You need a healthy alternative on the meal plan. It's not horrible. So I, I, I think... You're it, into arugula. You got to like arugula. And it was like, what, six pieces of small chicken on it, maybe? And a few slices of apple? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to say three trucker hats, Doug. Three trucker hats. All right, everybody. Thank you, Doug, for... Uh, doing the salad one for the team. I tried oh, to yeah. get someone off the street to do but no one would do it but Doug so you know <laughs> alright Doug you, you get what you get here, yeah. which, you <laughs> so know. come down to Mary Farm and uh, have an arugula good time yes an arugula oh look he's, ha he's going back for more alright Doug where will we see everybody not Mary Farm there you go we'll see you guys at Mary Farm thanks for following along today guys two things truffle burger arugula salad at Coasters both about three trucker hats to, from Doug. Okay, all right. Thanks, Doug. See ya. Jingle all the way here, Doug. Hey, guys. That's right. Jingle all the Look way. Look at that. You got it? You see it behind us? We're at the Peanuts headquarters. Is that what it's called these days? So Doug and I were here today because Julie wasn't here. So Doug was nice enough to step in and do some food reviews and hang out with us on a Wednesday. We wanted to show you guys what can you do on a weekday at Mary Farm and what was here. So, Doug, what did you think? Well, I you think Doug? there was... Uh, There's Doug. I think you have to entertain yourself while you're here, which we obviously did. Yes, we did. And uh, for shows, there's no shows. No shows, just snow and... Tree lighting. Tree lighting, but the tree lighting, you know, it used to have a whole show. Now it's just basically right. a quick show. But, you know, we went to a lot of the crafts booths. We went to Santa's cabin. We kind of walked around, tried some different salads. Um, so we had a... Yeah, Doug likes those salads anyway. So, yeah, thanks for following along. Hey... If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. So not only see Miss Hatman and Jewel, sometimes you'll see uh, Hatman Doug over here. And, uh, you know, see what you think of our channel. We do mostly not stuff. We have a Facebook group that we run called Knots Then and Now about the past and pregnant. Oh, you want to go there? there you, you want go. the background better? Okay. Yeah, Doug's all about Snoopy. the background. Yeah, they're Snoopy and all. There we go. Sort of like that. Okay. So follow that. And if you need custom hats, hit me up. I own a hat company. That's why I'm Vince the Hat Man. So thanks for following along today. And where will we see everybody, Doug? At Knott's Mary Farm. See you at Mary Farm. Thanks for following, guys. Thanks, Doug. You're welcome. Doug's gone already. See you guys.